Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Lantern Xenomorph Warrior. Based off, I'm guessing, the second movie, because the ridge on its head. Now, it'll be approximately three to four minutes. I won't go in that in-depth. It's a seven-inch figure. It has, I'm reading off the box now, Warrior Feature Details. It comes with a creature canister. And that is... Described as specimen feature details. Yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, it's... it's uh, I'm not going to read everything on it, but that's pretty much the basics. So, for the start, I guess I could just, just jump into how poseable it is. So, first piece of articulation I'm going to go with is this, like, ball joint with a hinge on the shoulder. It has, like, one, like, click. I forget what you call it. And it rotates 360 but it just clicks one up and down. And also, the uh, elbow has some more two clicks, and it swivels. And the hand just swivels. That's it. Same on the other arm. Now the head goes back and forth. The mouth opens and closes. No inner jaw. You can see it if you look, but there's no specific like articulation for it. You have a little bit of waist movement, you have some ball, it's it's on a ball joint, doesn't spread that far, goes up, goes back, that's about it, does not do a 360. The knee, you have a single joint that has like three or four different hinges, I forget what you call it, and then at the bottom, it's a ball joint that swivels 360, and then just barely goes up and down. And that's pretty much all the articulation except for one piece, which is the tail, it is not uh, wired, it's just... Just one molded piece with weaker plastic and just swivels at the bottom. He's the color is like this chrome blue and you got some like chrome green on the top. I mean he's pretty uh, pretty good looking, pretty highly detailed. There's also some chrome green on the uh, defensive hinges. Um, on the back you got his tubes and then whatever that thing's called I forget. Some shoulder plating it almost looks like, except for it's, of course, biomechanical. No, it's just made of him, the Xenomorph. Stands pretty well. So, it's about all the articulation. He looks pretty good. He definitely looks like an like more of like a kid-stylized oh, toy or whatever, because of its bright colors. Now, I'm going to show you guys the... Uh, uh, what was it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Creature Canister. Pretty basic. It just pops off at the top, this little piece, and then you can just pull out your face hugger, and you can set this down just like a little glass testing tube. This face hugger has no, like, painting or printing besides, like, this. Pretty highly detailed on the bottom. I, I would have thought it would have been plain, but it's not. And it's just made with, like, a weaker... Plastic kind of thin. It's not made of rubber. Just I mean, weak plastic. Pretty cool. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that little coil so it can just kind of stand up. Not really. Pretty cool feature. Pretty small compared to the Xenomorph. Let's move back on to it. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a... Comparison with some other figures around the same height. First, I'm going to start with the Deluxe Studio Series Crowbar from Transformers. The Xenomorph is considerably taller. And I'm going to also do it with the Black Manta figure that I have. Xenomorph is also taller. I wouldn't have thought so, but he is. So, overall, pretty cool figure. Um... I mean, he's not NECA or anything. It's pretty child designed. It can't be that dynamic because of balance. It doesn't have any pegs for the feet. Uh, I wish the inner jaw came out. Oh yeah, there's also silver for the for the you know the teeth. Um, but yeah, I wish the inner jaw came out. Main complaint. The rest of it's pretty cool. So that'll wrap up my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And also, there should be a video right there and a playlist right there. 
make sure to click right there to subscribe. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, consider watching some of my other ones and then maybe even subscribing. Thank you for watching and goodbye.